about what just happened. Does anybody realize that this is Stevie Wonder? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, guys, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, so we are fast approaching the March 25th deadline for Donald Trump to bet, to pay this frivolous lawsuit from Eternal General Letitia James. Right? We come to the deadline, and you'll see all these liberals are hand clapping, and yeah, we got them now. We got him now. We're going to take his buildings away from him. We're going to take his properties and money. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, honestly, I'm not no legal scholar. I don't know nothing. I am half broke. So I don't know nothing. But if I was Donald Trump, I'd tell her, fuck it, have it. You can have it. You want the building? Here you go. Take the building. All right. I'm going to keep the cash in my pocket. You want the buildings? You want the property? Take it. All right. You want to be a landowner? Letitia James. What you going to do with all that money? Letitia James. You None of it coming to you. So what are you going to do with all that money? Huh? You'll get some more weaves. You'll get some sandals. Shout out to you, O'Shea Duke Jackson. What are you going to do with all that money? You and, and the judge. What are you going to do with all that money? Huh? Y'all going to ball out? Out of control? Whew, whatever. Donald Trump. Do not give in. I know you're a fighter, right? And this is what a lot of people like about you. And uh, if she wants it that bad, let her have it. Make her come get it. Make her come to the office and shut it down. Make sure she comes there and tell everybody that they fired. Right? All the people that works at the, the Trump offices, the Trump buildings, and the property, the landscapers. Tell them they're all fired and it's your property now. It's the state of New York. Let her have it. Shit. It's only money, right? I want you to remember this moment. And don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If they take his stuff... He's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the establishment and the swamp in Washington and all the politicians across the country and the attorneys generals and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. He's going to go up in the polls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. The indictment, let's not talk about whether it's justified or not, but it will prove the things that he's saying on the campaign trail. And he will go up, and it may just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado and what they did in, I believe, was Maine. His numbers went up in both states. I don't understand. I'm almost speechless in how pathetic the opposition to Trump has been and how completely misguided. And this is a perfect example of it. You want it? Huh, come get it. Come get it. You know? Now, we have O'Leary, Shark Tank guy. He's not a big Trump supporter. I know he's not a Trump supporter. But he does business in New York, and this is what he got to say. Scary message. And by the way, uh, there are uh, no again, such things as half a exist billion to dollar protect bonds. The marketplace. There are no half a billion dollar bonds. Never been done before. Never. This law has never been applied. Forget about Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. Everything to do 
about America and the New York brand. Absolutely horrific. Trump is going to take this all the way to the Supreme Court, okay? He's going to take all the Supreme Court because the Constitution, uh, the, Eighth Con the Eighth Amendment, says that you cannot do this, basically. No! All right? So he's going to take it all to the Supreme Court, and what they're trying to do is try to make Donald Trump blink. <laughs> oh, don't take my property. Uh, here, here's, here's 500 million. And it's so funny. We have a lot of idiots here. A lot of people who doesn't have money, like including myself, are on the comments saying, if he was so rich, you'll just pay it off. Nobody has $500 million in the banks. Hell, there are your local bank, Bank of America, Chase, they don't even have a million dollars in the bank. So, of course, they don't have creditors who's going to credit him this bond for half a billion dollars. He went to 30, um, including Elon Musk. He don't have the cash just laying around like that. Bezos doesn't have the money just laying around like that. Nobody, it, you'll be foolish to have your money sitting in the bank with those interest rates eating your money up. That's why they don't put their money in the bank. They have it in real estate. They have it in stocks. They have it in other, other venues. They don't want to put it in the bank. That's, that's dumb. But again, them dumbass liberals. Oh man, he don't have money in the bank. That means he don't got no money. He broke. And look, shut up. Yeah, I don't know what y'all talking about. The truth is that Trump has had nearly a month to come up with the funding and even claims that he's been rejected by 20 creditors thus far, which sure is weird because we've been told that Donald Trump is a multi-billionaire and that no one does business like him and that he's got more money than God and yet can't seem to find a single creditor willing to back him. What does that tell you? And more broadly, there's an important message here. Donald Trump was elected on this pretense that he's rich and savvy and that he's gonna use those skills to benefit the American people as president. Now we're seeing that not only is he not as rich as he claimed to be, but his own presidency taught us the lesson that he's also not as savvy. But he has raised enough money with those shoes. He sold a million of those shoes already, sold out at $400 a pop, sold out. So that's 400 right there. And he got cash just laying around. But he says he'd rather use it for his campaign than give it to this bum bitch. Okay? So take the property. Letitia James, you want it? Take it. Take it. Call her bluff, Trump. Call her bluff. But how is Donald Trump beating Joe Biden? He's got 85 indictments that still exist. Felonies. How is he beating Joe Biden with the economy getting better and things cleaning up. Okay, we got, um, it's still have inflation, you still have got immigration. Trump is leading, and in the seven swing states, Trump is up by the margin of error in five out of seven. Why is that happening? Because his critics are stupid, and they're running a horrible campaign. That's gonna hurt New York businesses for a long time, because once I set that precedence, once I take that building, that's gonna be another campaign speech for Donald Trump. He'd rather be president than have properties. Okay? You people, you small mind people don't think bigger than that. He'd rather be president to protect all our rights. Because again, if they do this to Trump, if they're doing this to Trump, they're going to do this to you. Elon Musk, watch out. They're coming after you too. Now that you brought Twitter, they hate you now because you don't squash their, their freedom of speech. And you're letting people talk how they want to talk. And they don't like that. So they're coming after you too, Elon Musk. This is why he's in Texas. He's not in California anymore. Because again, he already see California is a shithole. He see the writing on the wall. And that's why he's in Texas, in the red state. But everybody in the blue states, California, New York, you're in trouble. Letitia James would rather protect the squatter rights before you she'll protect a millionaire rights. We have cases of people of going to these houses squatting and they're taking over mansions now. Million dollar properties. They're taking them over. Letitia James is not gonna fight for the loan the the landowner. Letitia James is not gonna fight for the homeowner. She wanna take her property. She's a squatter. She's a professional squatter. She's gonna take Donald Trump property. Let her have it.
and let her have it. Let her deal with it. Let her deal with all the headache. She's going to have to sell it and all that. Let her do all that shit. Okay? And Trump, keep your money in your pocket. Campaign. I would have gave you enough money I could give. And once I see it again, I'm going to give another 25, 30 bucks. Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have you there in the White House and protecting all our rights. But you guys don't see it. Y'all don't see it yet. What trouble that New York is in. What trouble California is in. And once you get in office, Letitia James, you better run for the hills. Okay. Because okay? I, for one, want him to press charges against you. Use the federal government, put her in oversight committees, run her pockets, make her life a living hell once you get in office. <laughs> and I know you got a long memory. You're going to use your whole full weight against these knuckles here, knucklehead here. And I wish you do. All right. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> All right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And you booger bears, get off my lawn.